Good morning, how are we doing today? My name is James Sweeney, aka Split Suit. Welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna to answer a question sent in by Wall to ask the following. I'm buying another poker book, Interested in Poker's 1% by Miller or Applications of No Limit Hold'em by Janda. Which one should I buy? So the simple answer here is that both books are really, really solid choices, but it's good to understand which one is going to be kind of more for the beginner set, which is going to be more for the advanced set. And the way that I think about it here is that Applications is more of the advanced book, and Poker's 1% is more of a simplified version of it, getting you to the point where you can understand Applications at some point. Now, both of these books are very, very frequency-focused books, and they really explore the game from that mindset. It's not pure, pure GTO, it is it's not pure, pure exploitative by any stretch of the imagination, but it's cracking into frequency focused play. And this is something that's very, very important. I talk about this all the time in videos, both hand history stuff and pro stuff that I do over at Red Chip Poker. And it's important to understand what frequencies look like, what your frequency should look like, what your opponent's frequency should look like in situations. And if your opponent is deviating from correct frequencies, how you can in turn take advantage of that. Both of these books will prepare you for that, but if you're newer to the concept, if you haven't really spent much time with solvers or thinking about this kind of stuff, then I would definitely suggest starting with Poker's 1%. Just like if you're trying to crack into Poker Math, if you're looking for the most advanced book out there, uh, mathematics of poker is probably going to be your best bet. But if you're looking for something that will get you into the poker math, you're still wrapping your head around it, going with Poker Math That Matters by Q-Tip is a much better bet. Don't go too far into the advanced stuff. If you're newer to it, find a book that bridges you into it. Poker is 1% and Poker Math That Matters are books that will definitely do that and get you into the more aggressive versions. That can be a little bit daunting, especially again, if you're newer to the topic or if you just simply haven't spent that, that much time with it. Now, I'm going to leave links for everything I just described down below in the description box, but if you're interested in Poker's 1%, I would definitely suggest considering picking up my course, The 1%. It's completely modeled off of Miller's book, Poker's 1%, with his permission, of course, and I went through the book and I kind of hacked it into a full video series and added a lot of commentary and spots that I think need a little bit of beefing up, a little bit of explaining, because when you first read Poker's 1% at first glance, you may say, this doesn't quite feel right for me and my games and where the heck does this apply and this doesn't really seem applicable here and again even more so if you jump right into applications by Janda. So if you're looking for something that really walks you through more, gives you some more expanded commentary and especially if you prefer video over reading another book, I would definitely suggest checking it out. Go to splitsuit.com slash one. You can learn all about it. Very, very helpful and trust me if you're interested in learning more about the frequency stuff, protecting your frequencies, exploiting your opponent's frequencies, understanding what range building actually looks like, both with simplified rules to get started and also advanced application in terms of how to apply the best bluff combos and where you should be structuring your range and how do you protect your checks and your bets simultaneously. This is a really, really valuable course. So again, check it out at splitsuit.com slash one, grab it and make sure to use the code YouTube to save 10 bucks at checkout. So Walt, hopefully this helps you decide what to buy and dig into next. And if you have any questions on other books or other courses that you'd like some feedback on or say, hey, you know, which one should I be prioritizing? What should I do first? Which one is really valuable? Which one maybe should I just ignore? Just leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to help you out as best I can. And also make sure if you have any other questions, be it related to books, courses, whatever, or just simply poker questions in general, you can always send them to me directly at splitsuit.com slash ask. As always, if you need anything at all, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. And if you wouldn't mind liking, subscribing, hitting the little bell notification so you get a heads up the next time a new video is released, I would massively appreciate that as well. So same as always, if you need anything, let me know. Otherwise, as always, good luck out there and happy grinding.